Hi, Paul again here from SoCal Trucking School, and I'm going to give you an explanation of why we do the air brake system. Um, air brakes are the most probably most important part of this truck because if you don't have air, air, air to stop the truck, the truck isn't going to stop, and you got to make sure there's no leaks. It has to be a pressurized system. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to make sure that the tanks are fully charged. Now on this truck there is an air compressor and the air compressor is a gear driven air compressor meaning it runs off the engine. Now there are some belt driven air compressors out there but most modern air compressors run off the engine. So if you give it a little RPMs it'll charge up a little bit faster. Um, so what the, what the air compressor does is goes it fills up the tanks. This is just like any air compressor you might have in your garage. Uh, most guys have worked with an air compressor, so it's not some foreign technology. So the air compressor fills up the air tanks. When the air tanks are full, then we start looking for leaks. So what we need to do after that to look for a leak is release the air out of our storage, which is our tanks. How do we do that? We push in the red and yellow knobs. That takes the air from the air tanks into the hoses and lines and releases the brakes from the brake chambers or sorry from the brake drums then after the brake drums you're going to use your foot pedal now you're going to apply steady pressure on that foot pedal and you're going to hold it for one minute and you're going to watch that air gauge and look for leaks and this is pretty much how it works